Hello and welcome to another episode of Creative Techniques. This time I'm going to show you how to do colour correction in Final Cut Pro 10 with the help of the free app Command Post and a MIDI control surface. While I'm in Final Cut Pro I'm going to head up to the menu bar and look for this little icon here, the little satellite dish. This is Command Post and to set up the MIDI options I'm going to head to Preferences. There is a whole lot here but I'll just focus on the MIDI controls in this video. Clicking on the MIDI section and you've got several different sections you can play with here. I make sure that MIDI controls are enabled and then make sure I'm talking about Final Cut Pro Bank 1. Now the first two commands should be preset, Next MIDI Bank and Previous MIDI Bank. And I've got these set up already, but the way to set them up is make sure you've got your device connected. My Korg Nano Control 2 is connected. Press Learn and then press the button you want to assign to that function. I'll do the same with Previous and there we go. Now on Bank 1 we've got Colorboard Controls preset and I've already assigned almost all of these to uh, the buttons and sliders on my device. What you really want is as many sliders and dials as possible. I'm using these four dials for doing color correction, these four for doing exposure changes, and these four for doing saturation changes, plus these two for other things. A couple of important notes if you're adding your own things. Press the select button to add your own command, and if you search for MIDI you'll see all the functions which have been designed to be controlled by a MIDI knob or slider. Now one other thing that's worth adding under, oh, let's, you could search for clip, but let's uh, search for next. Okay, select next clip is a very useful one and select previous clip is another one. And before I choose it, I'll just show you, move the playhead and the selection to the previous topmost clip in the same role. Fantastically useful stuff. Okay, I'm going to assign these to the two buttons here. So, learn, next clip, previous clip. Great. So how do we use these in practice? Well, here we are in Final Cut. I'm going to option click on a clip to select it and move the playhead to that point. And I don't have any active color correction here. They've all been disabled. So to add one, and I want a, a color board, I'm just going to adjust any one of these sliders. It adds a new color board instance, and now I can just move the slider I want to move. Now for this one, I can see the blacks aren't quite black, so I'm going to drag the black slider down. It's still a bit overexposed. It was a bright day, so I'm going to drag the mid slider down as well, all just while watching the scopes. Now the red's a tiny bit hot, so maybe I'll just bring all of that down a bit. That's looking pretty good, but if I had a color cast, I'd move these two, which control the color. This is the strength of the change, and it depends if you want to make it more blue. If you don't want it blue, this is this slider, and that'll help you dial in exactly the color you're looking for, if you want it to feel a bit warmer or a bit cooler. And this is the strength of the correction. It doesn't actually need very much. Now I can go to the previous clip, it'll select it, and it only goes to clips of the same role. So if you had some clips here that were, for example, titles, they won't be affected or selected. It's very, very convenient. So here's another example. I can see the shadows are pretty much in the right place, but the highlights just really aren't. So I'll push the highlights up. It adds a new instance. Now, in this case, it didn't quite go all the way to the top. And that's because the sliders have a one-to-one -one relationship. There's only 127 different possible values for these sliders, so it goes from negative 64 to positive 63. If you need them to go the full range, hold down Shift. And then you can push them just that little bit further. Command Post is a free app, and if you want to use the MIDI keyboard or any of its other features, including the scrolling timeline or uh, the batch exporting, then throw the developers a donation. They really appreciate it. If you want to learn anything else about Final Cut, check out some of the other links here on my channel and look for other videos soon. Thanks for watching.